Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you a new way to do concrete casting just using 3D printing. And here is the final output of what I'm going to show you today. But let's start where most people do, which is a silicone mold. And this is how I've done them in the past. They work great, but it's a more complex and definitely more expensive process to do simple concrete casting. Let's do something different. Let's use just 3D printing. So here is the the mold I've made, which is a, a base, and then the inner part for the, the bowl itself, a couple of outside pieces to keep it together and put the outside surface on it, and then this top piece for a plug, which makes it easier to get the concrete out of the mold. So how do we get the concrete out of the mold? I've tried everything from this casting concrete from, say, Hobby Lobby, which failed miserably, to something that was recommended on various uh, YouTube channels. It's more expensive off YouTube to, you know, mechanics lubricant, silicone lubricant, to regular old white lithium grease, um, and then the old standby, which is petroleum jelly, which actually works, but not great, and it's really messy. So I've even been so desperate to try, let's say, a more personal lubricant. That failed. So if everything sticks, what works? Simple old canola oil. Are you kidding me? What? No way. Fuck's sake. So to start, simply spray the canola oil on everything and be very, uh, very liberal with it. And I'm not going to make you watch me do the actual concrete, so I sped it up dramatically faster than what it is, but simple concrete mix. Nothing crazy. Yeah, this isn't a video on concrete mixing or anything like that. So, um, and here's a simple process that I use to fill the mold. Uh, very scientific. And the only recommendation I would say is you definitely want your concrete mix to be a little bit runny just so it gets in all the cavities and whatnot. And, and here's where you see I made a little bit of a mistake. These binder clips should have gone all the way around the base and up the vertical sides of the mold itself to uh, do a good job of holding that concrete in but it, in this case it really didn't matter the molds super tight so no no real spillage at all so the next step is when you're letting the concrete cure um, I spray it every 15 minutes with water this does help to prevent cracking of the concrete itself as it's curing and then the last thing to do is pull the mold apart um, take off the clips, all that stuff, um, and, and you'll see, even though you do use the cooking spray, it's still not like it just pops right off for the, the tight things, like the plug um, and the internal piece that's the inside of the, the bowl itself. Um, but that's why the plug is there. You'll see that I use a wrench to kind of get the plug out, and then I use a rubber mallet to, pot, to use that plug to pop the, the inner core out, and that works like a champ. And while this method isn't perfect, um, just the sheer simplicity of being able to 3 print the mold, pour the concrete, and you have something is amazing versus using the complex process of creating the silicone mold and the cost that goes along with it. So uh, I highly recommend you try this. And I did not invent this by any means. I'll put a link to a video from another guy where I saw he used the same oil, and that's where I got my idea to try a new method. So. And here's the final output of the natural concrete before I did anything like sand it or seal it or anything. So came out pretty clean and uh, you can do some pretty neat stuff with it. And the next one is a little fake plant in sand essentially, which I sanded it, uh, primed it, and then put a spray paint on it. Um, looks pretty, pretty good. And then the last option is a bowl with just a pigment in the concrete and then some concrete sealer for one of those sand candles. So um, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. And if you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments. Thank you. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.